Okay, so I'm upstairs at my house uh, getting set up to do a test to determine if the white foam used in a well-built John boat absorbs water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a 3 inch by 3 inch by 3 inch square piece of the white foam out of the boat and I'm going to weigh it next. Thanks for checking out Ageless Wanderer. We know you're going to like the channel, so please subscribe now. The starting weight of the 27 square inch cubic block is 5.9 as we start. It's 5.8 to 5.9, but it seems to be holding right at 5.9. For this test, we're using my Napa 12 inch crescent wrench to submerge the 3 inch by 3 inch block into my sink. You can see we ended with a weight of 15.8 grams. We started at 5.9, so we gained 9.9 .9 grams. That would equal 1.4 pound gain in a 1 cubic foot block of foam. After completing a 12 hour drying period outside, sitting in the back of my boat, the block of foam has returned to its original weight of 5.9 grams. Okay, so what did we learn from this experiment? We learned that uh, the polystyrene block foam used in a well-built boat will gain about 1.5 pounds of water uh, if saturated for a three and a half day period. Uh, my test indicated that it would absorb much less if a, it was just saturated for several hours. But uh, that's good to know that uh, it'll probably max out after three and a half days at gaining 1.5 pounds per cubic foot. Now, no one wants to add weight. I mean, if you think about uh, six pound or six cubic feet of foam in a boat might gain uh, nine, ten pounds. Uh, I don't want that. Um, my previous boat was a uh, Tracker Grizzly 1448 and in that boat they used a blown in or excuse me poured in polyurethane foam that expanded and filled up the voids on either side of the bottom and in the back of my boat. <clears throat> Probably worse in the back of the boat where it touched the bottom and could absorb water where water would typically stand uh, with the use of the boat. Uh, but even in the bottom of the boat, uh, in, on either side, they had uh, polyurethane expanding foam in there that when water would uh, run through that area, it would absorb the water. And once it was absorbed, there was no air movement through that area to get rid of the, um, the, the moisture that had locked into the uh, polyurethane expanding foam. And this is what we typically think of of people pulling a boat apart and you know, they can't scrape out the old foam. When they do, it's really heavy. And uh, so, uh, yeah, you can reduce a lot of weight. Um, you know, my recommendation from this test would go in with kind of a loosely uh, packed uh, pieces of polystyrene block foam to fill those voids up to um, eliminate this big issue of um, water logging. It also give you the ability for the uh, foam uh, that you install uh, have the capability of drying out as it did in my test where it completely lost all of the water weight uh, in a 12-hour period just being put out uh, uh, you know where it could get a little bit of airflow sitting in the back of my boat so my recommendation if you're going to replace foam in a boat consider replacing it with polystyrene block foam